Steph, earlier in his career, I noticed in the finals, was not as good as he was at other points. But against Toronto, a series they lost because they had no chance because everyone got hurt, Steph became a very clutch player. He hit big shots consistently in that series. What I see, there was a game at Golden State that it looked like Kawhi was taking over and Steph just started hitting threes and hitting ridiculous shots. Golden State won, right? So sometimes it takes guys a little longer to perform in the finals. They have to get their feet wet, get used to it. Steph was big last night. He was the best player on the floor last night. He's averaging something like 26 points or something. What is, what is, what's his average? I'm, yeah, I'm not even going to let you off the hook, Max. You say that you would take Jimmy Butler over Stephen Curry. Uh, that's, ooh, yeah, you at said, this you point, yes. Yeah, no, no, Jimmy Butler's it. having a better postseason that's than fine, Steph I'm Curry not doing so far. It. That's fine. But yeah, he really, is. He is having a better he, postseason. But he has to because of the that's situation. Fair point. Steph is not in that situation. Steph got four other dudes. Could Steph do it, though? Steph could 100% do it. Yes. On the 100%. offensive end. 100%. Yes. Yeah. He's, not, he's never going to be a, a, a defensive player of the year. It's just not, that's not his deal. That's not why he's there. He's not there for his defense. But that's my point about He you. didn't re, uh, uh, revolutionize the defensive side of the ball like he did the three-point sure. shooting. That's my point about Jimmy Butler, though. As it, and it's not just about Steph. It, as it applies to Doncic also. These guys are amazing on yeah, offense. I think Luka but if Luka's worst is Steph. Luka, Luka, yeah, Luka on defense. No, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. no question. Yeah. Steph at least attempts to play defense. Yeah. But it, Butler's offense is now matching theirs more or less. Mm -hmm. And it so, is. so once he does that, defensively, it's not close. How much more is there? There's offense and defense. Yeah, I still ain't taking Yeah, Jimmy but see, I, I think we are conflating a great playoff run with the overall body of work. Right, so yes. I'll give you an example. A couple of years ago, Tyler Hero was balling when he was in the bubble. He was balling. Nobody walked in like Tyler Hero's top ten, but he was putting up t top ten like numbers during the playoffs. Like but he was what if up he big did, time numbers? What if he didn't have a great regular season, but the following playoffs he was even better in the playoffs, and then the following playoffs even see, better I, than that? Because that's what Butler did. Then he would be playoff Tyler Hero. Right, and this is playoff Jimmy Butler. And that's okay. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm still not taking... He won six taking, man of the year, Max. I'm still not taking he won, uh, him over Steph. But wait, he not. won six man of the year. He has followed that up. So that's, that's what I'm saying to you, though. In, but he in just the, won six man of the year. I, I get it, but in the playoffs that year, in the bubble, it looked... Tyler Hero was playing, like, given his age and everything. Oh, my God, superstar level. Tyler Hero's going to get a, a massive deal. Mm -hmm. Close to a max deal, you know what? He's a if, good Tyler, Tyler, no, Tyler Hero can be a starter. For somebody. For a, no, a, a really, lot of teams, not really, somebody. He's a really good I, for player. For probably 27, 28 teams. I, under, I understand that, but in the bubble, in Maybe the playoffs, he looked like a star. He and is had a he, star. And he's six man the, of the year. Six man of the year is not the same as Max, Max, as six you know, man NBA of the year. MVP Gabe, level player. Gabe, I agree with you, but Gabe Vincent and Max Struess are coming up are undrafted players who are starting. You're sure. telling me you don't think Tyler Hero should be a starter on this team? It's about rotations, and it's about how to utilize him the right way. That dude is a starter by any means I'm on not every argue, NBA I'm team. not arguing he's not starter I'm saying, quality. But you're saying that he didn't follow it up, and you're using that as your argument. And I'm saying he did follow that up. He got six man of the I year. Think, I think what Max is saying, I think Max is saying one year one in a bubble, year two out of the bubble, year three out of the bubble. I think that's what Max is saying. Yeah, in the playoffs. I, I think that's what you're no, saying. No, I'm just saying in the, in the playoffs – Jimmy Butler was playing at a certain level. Every year in the playoffs, that level seems to rise until this year where it's like, oh, my God, this dude might be the best player in the playoffs. That's what I'm saying. So Tyler Hero, if he was in the bubble, oh, my God, in the playoffs, he's an all-star. If the next year in the playoffs, oh, my God, he might be the, you know, he's even better. By the third or fourth year, he's, he could be the best player in the playoffs. So for you, like, you don't need to see it sustained. It's just about when it matters the most, um, right? Um, like in the playoffs, because we're seeing that for the first time from Jimmy need at to this see level. It. This is a very, this is the next level for him, even in what it was in the bubble. You next need to level. see it sustained. I agree. For how I'm long? Saying, I'm saying the trajectory. For how long? If it's trending in that direction, and now it's hitting this level. Well, what about Steph Curry, though? Because we all started off on this conversation about the Warriors and Steph Curry. We've seen him sustain playoff greatness when he's in the playoffs. You don't think so because he hadn't won an MVP. I think so regardless of the MVP. They wouldn't be in the situation they're in now without him, and he doesn't have to do everything. If I get 25 points a night out of Steph in the playoffs, is that good, Jay? That's great. That's great, not great. good. That's great. 
Let me be very clear. I think Steph is great in the playoffs. I think Steph is always great. What I do is I'm looking at where are you normally and where are you the deeper in the playoffs you get? Are you as good as you are normally? Do you get better or worse? And Steph, to me, if you watch his career so far in the finals, has been a lesser version of his best. Okay, so he's been in the finals. With Butler Kevin is getting to be a better version of himself. But in he these also situations. was in the finals with Kevin Durant. It's like being in the finals with Michael Jordan along with LeBron James and Kevin Durant all on so one guys, team. It's hard. I, yeah. can, can, I, can I just say this? Like, let's go through it. Mm -hmm. So this guy has not had one season. I'm um, looking at the season averages here. Uh, it's just, yeah, regular. But not one season over 25 points a game. Who? One. Jimmy? One. One season. Jimmy over Butler? 25, yes. Yeah. 25 points a game. So, like, and he's been to the playoffs like, almost every other year since 2011. So, like, it's not like... The, the work has been there, Max, the mm -hmm. whole time. Yeah, no, Jimmy Butler, as I said. I, it's I a, don't understand. He, 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 the, the whole question about Jimmy Butler is, and it's been this way for a couple of years, can he be the best player on a championship team? Uh, I don't know, not really. And this year it He's looks like, yeah, I think wrong. he can. Yes. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus right now.